Well, week three of the NFL season certainly was a thing that happened, man. Who boy, I, I really don't know how in the world we got to this point. Man, there was some games this week <laughs> that were just pure comedy in the worst form possible. Uh, you got the Browns beat the Steelers to start us off now. Um, the night of the game, remember I said I was I, don't, I did not know if I was going to watch this game, and I ended up not watching it. Why is Jacoby Brissett out here, you know, being efficient? Like, what's going on out here? Like the Browns, like they took care of business. They beat the Steelers pretty, you know, in a pretty nice manner. And then you had the Bills Dolphins to start the Sunday slate, and my goodness, what a game this was! We're talking. We're, we're talking, how in the world did the Dolphins pull this off? They, how, how, I have no idea how this team pulled this off. Tua got, basically had a concussion, played the game with a concussion, still won the Dolphins the game. The Bills made a critical mistake late in this game, you know, just like, like, what were they thinking, you know, with that last set of, you know, with that last, you know, um, set of uh, plays, because they had time to try and get in the field goal range, they just couldn't do it. But obviously, the biggest play from that game was the butt punt that ended up being a safety. Um, I, I, I genuinely don't know how, but I mean, it, it's wild that that ended up being a safety. The butt punt. I know, crazy, right? Bengals beat the Jags. Nothing to see there. The Panthers got their first win. You know. Yeah, Chris Olave was out here doing work against the Panthers, but that didn't matter. That didn't matter. You know, Jameis Winston was out here still throwing interceptions and whatnot. I genuinely don't know, you know, what in the world's going on here. Like, the Panthers, they were finally had a good game again. Like, they had this game wrapped up by the fourth quarter. It, you know, they, they had this game pretty much wrapped up by the fourth, and Carolina did and not a good look here for the Saints. I mean, you let Christian McCaffrey run all over you. You let Baker Mayfield have uh, not not a great game, but it was it's definitely a game that happened. The Titans they get their first win of the season. You know, Raiders are got to be in panic mode right now. Like this is just this is ridiculous. This is some ridiculous stuff right here. You know, like I, I'm I'm sitting here looking. And just trying to think, like what, what went wrong here? What went wrong here? Because I mean, Tennessee was up twenty four ten at half, and like, like I'm just, I'm just curious, what went wrong? Like Vegas in the second half had the opportunities, um, maybe you know, do something. Because I mean, the Titans didn't do anything in the second half; they didn't score in the second half. So like, what, what's going on here? Like somebody's got to answer something. The Raiders. Are in a dire position at 0 and 3, you know, right now. It's and speaking of dire positions, Patriots are also in a weird position. Yeah, they scored 26 points, so you can't stop Lamar Jackson and company. You know you're in for the bad time, and I mean, Lamar is looking like an early favorite for the MVP out here. Mans is out here doing work. He's got what 12 touchdowns on the season. I mean, my goodness, what over a thousand yards passing. Or is it in total? I think it's. I think it's. A, it's it's got to be a thousand yards passing. But I mean, man, what a game, man! What a game by Lamar. I mean, you you look at these stats for Lamar Jackson. And you you tell me, two eighteen passing, eighteen to twenty nine, a hundred and seven through um, on the ground, four touchdowns passing. I mean, okay, so I, my mistake, probably a thousand yards total through three games, uh, but. You know, Lamar is out here. He he he's getting his money this off season. He's getting this money. He's going to be. He, one day he's going to lead the Ravens to a Super Bowl. I guarantee. I guarantee you that. Like, like man is out here earning his money. He's going to be earning a lot more next season. You know, I guarantee that. Now the Vikings and the Lions had a had a really interesting game in which, of course, you know the Lions threw a pick at the end. To lose the game, but I mean, um, that that game, you know, was fairly fun and interesting for the most part. And I mean, again, the Lions ain't no slouch no more. They are not. 
they are not that team anymore that you can just roll over and punch, you know, one time and they fall down like glass Joe. You really got to fight to win. Justin Jefferson really didn't do anything in this game, though. That, that is kind of concerning. Uh, somebody, somebody help him out there. The Eagles just humiliated the Commanders. We're talking Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith was a connection that just that just hurt the Commanders. I mean, Jalen Hurts all day was hurting the Commanders. Like, man, this Eagles team is for real, man. So for real. Like, oh my God. Like, what a, what a performance, you know. Sure, there was a safety in this game, too, but, uh, you know, um... Like the Eagles legit unbeaten. Same with Miami. <laughs> Crazy stuff, right? The, they're the only two teams left in the NFL that are unbeaten. And then you got the Colts upsetting the Chiefs. I, I really don't know how the Chiefs lost this game. How do you let Matt Ryan lead an eight-minute drive to win the game? How do you let this happen, man? Like this is like, like there's been some concern about the Chiefs, you know, over the past few weeks. Because, I mean, I did not take away good thoughts from the Chargers game. And I ended up flipping over to the Chiefs-Colts game, you know, later during the day. But um, this this isn't good right here. This isn't good at all. You lose a game that you should have won. And they couldn't. And the Chiefs just couldn't convert in the red zone either. Like, like they had the opportunities. And they just couldn't do it. On the Bears, they beat the Texans. Texans are bad. I think we all know this. But... A huge surprise is that the Jags, they blew out the car, the, the, not the cards, We're, we'll talk about the cards in a second, but they blew out the Chargers. Um, I don't know where this Trevor Lawrence has come from. He's playing like he's at Clemson now. He, like, my goodness. Then you got Robinson out here running for 100 yards and a TD. I mean, what happened here? What What's going on out here? What is going on with this Chargers team, you know? Two turnovers on the day, couldn't do anything on third down. You know, they, I mean, yeah, five of thirteen, yeah, whatever. But you know, they just got blown out by the Jags, just blown out completely. Like, what happened here? Are the Jags for real? Is this team for real? Are we really? I know some people probably made this joke, but are we gonna really see an Eagles Jags Super Bowl? Um, it, it, it could happen. I mean, the NFL shaping up to be one weird season. I, I cannot, I cannot say that you know, you know as many times as I like. But I mean, I'll say, I'll say it once, and I'll say it again. It's gonna be weird. I mean, like you thought last year was weird. This year, so far, is just bizarre. Like maybe it was Urban Meyer that held this Jags team back. You know, at least I think so, and a lot of people others do as well but I mean my goodness man <laughs> there's gotta be some concern out here in LA for the Chargers no concern for the Rams though they they they, they just they just demoralized the Cardinals I mean what in what kind of game was this we're talking the Cardinals couldn't muster any offense Kyler Murray he looked you know he didn't look that great out here I mean we're talking the Cardinals defense looked terrible Terrible, so many open passes, you know, and it felt like the Rams could have put up like 40 points on the on the cards, but they just decided not to. I mean, this game was pretty much a wrap, you know, fairly quickly because I mean the cards just could not do anything at all to stop, to stop Matthew Stafford and company. You know, they couldn't do anything. To, to keep like they couldn't do anything on offense of course you know you got you got drop passes you got missed throws you got no way to get past the Rams D line I mean it was just it was just a rough game to watch if you're a cards fan but if you didn't like that <laughs> you probably you, you probably watched the, the the Packers Buccaneers game and my goodness this game was one of the roughest games I think I've ever seen in my entire life. We're talking. Now, this isn't the only game that was rough on Sunday. There were four turnovers in the first half of this game. You know, multiple fumbles. I think there was a pick somewhere in there. You know, Packers were only up like 14-3. to 3. 
you know, and it felt like it was going to be 14 to 3 for most of this game. And then, you know, you had an Aaron Jones fumble. You had Brady. Th- did Brady throw a pick? Let me check. Let me check my stats here. I think he. I think he did. No, he didn't. So it was a fumble. Like, but but again, you know, Brady and company never could get anything going in this game. Packers couldn't do anything the sec- in the entire second half because you know, it was like fourteen to three for the longest time. You know, until the Buccaneers finally got an opportunity late to finally, you know, put themselves in the position of where they could tie this thing. And of course. And the Bucks didn't get the two-point conversion to tie the game, and they lose. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the Bucks' defense is that damn good. Because being, you know, again, like the Packers could have totally busted this open, but you know, again, those turnovers that the Packers had in this game, those were some key plays that kept the Bucks in it. Like again, this Bucks' defense is legit. The offense, you know. Banged up a little bit too. I, I do know that, but it, it's not the same Buccaneers team that won the Super Bowl two years ago. You know, or rather a year and a half ago, not two years, but it's not it's not the same Bucks team. You know, like like this Brent, this Tom Brady ain't either, this Tom Brady ain't working with you know the same cast of characters that he has been in the past. And for the for the Packers, I mean. They're still trying to work out the kinks at wide receiver. We're talking, you got guys at wide receiver that I don't even know who's playing. Like, I'm sitting here completely shocked at some of these guys out here making plays at wide receiver for the pack. But all in all, the pack, you know, beat the Bucks in, like, what, only the fifth Brady versus Rodgers game ever, which is a very rare occurrence, but it happened one at least one more time, and it was a good one. Until the end, not the greatest game, but definitely, definitely a defensive slugfest that I like to see. Falcons beat the Seahawks. There's nothing really to see here. I mean, the Falcons got their first win. You know, that that's that's cool. The Cowboys they beat the Giants. Good stuff by the Cowboys defense once again tonight. Daniel Jones, yeah, he threw a pick late. But he was definitely, he, he definitely, you know, at times had the Cowboys defense off guard. I thought there was going to be another bad type of game at first because it was 6-6 six to six at halftime. You know, both offenses couldn't get anything going. And the second half started. Russian company finally got it going. And, of course, you know, Saquon Barkley had a big touchdown in this game as well. But ultimately, the Cowboys defense was just too much tonight. But the game I do want to talk about last, and this is probably one of the worst games of football I've ever seen in my entire life. My goodness, the 49ers Broncos game this Sunday night was an absolute travesty. It was one of the worst games I think I've seen in quite a long time. How is this the second game that ended with an 11 to 10 final score? How? How is this not a scoregami? I don't understand it. And it turns out that it turns out that that uh, that other game from like 08 that was the you know the first game that was 11 to 10 that probably wasn't even supposed to be an 11 to 10 game but this this game was 11 to 10 this game was terrible this game was awful we're talking Jimmy G decided to do a Dan Orlovsky and you know we were all making fun of it on Twitter (laughs) We were all making light of the situation about Dan Orlovsky because he's like free from the curse of being the only dude that got so scared, you know, of Jared Allen, to where he backed up out of the end zone. And now Jimmy G did the same thing. And Jimmy G did not do anything to warrant, you know, in any sort of why. Like, why is Jimmy G still in San Fran? Like. I get it. He, I get it. He, he really didn't have anywhere to go. I mean, he could have went to Seattle, but why is he still here, man? Terrible performance by this 49ers offense tonight. The Broncos offense was pretty about as bad as you can get. Like, again, the safety was the deciding factor in this game. Broncos offense couldn't get anything going. You know, there was like one or two plays here or there that Russell Wilson could get, you know, the ball out. 
to his wide receivers and company. But you know, everybody was dropping balls. Jerry Judy, was, I swear he dropped like one or two of those tonight, or rather on Sunday night. I swear the, the the rest of the Broncos wide receivers couldn't do anything. You know, you know the Broncos offense couldn't get any moments of so many three and outs, so many punts. This was Big Ten football personified in the worst possible way. I'm talking like Iowa, Wisconsin, seven three, you know, type game, twenty punts in one game type deal. Like this game, this was awful, man. One of the worst football games I think I've seen in quite some time. And I've seen some bad football. I was telling everybody. I've seen some bad football over the past couple of years. You know, uh, like there's a couple of games to come to mind. Jackson State, Florida A&M, 2021, the Orange Blossom Classic on a Sunday. That game was absolutely terrible. It ended up being 7-6. to six. One of the worst games of football I think I've ever seen in my entire life. It was that bad. Like, there was, a, there was like some, you know, some opening flares. And then after that, it was just... It was the I think it was like the rain in that game, and then there was just it was just awful football all around. But I mean, the, the, there's so many other games over the past couple of years that you know kind of remind me of this, but I don't think it's gotten this bad. Like this was really really bad, really really bad. I know we make jokes about Big Ten football all the time, you know, everywhere, but this game was the personification of what was this. Why was this so terrible? Why did we subject ourselves to three hours of this? You gotta be hitting me, man. I can't, I can't. And the sad thing is that we have to watch the 49ers of the Broncos next week. Oh no, man. Like, the Broncos are in the late game and the 49ers in the Monday night game. Well, at least one of the late games, anyway. But my god, man. This is gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough one. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh man. So that's that was week three. And I'm sure, you know, now that we're entering you know, October and week four, you know, I'm sure, you know, we're gonna get some more craziness because again, the Colts, I don't think anybody expected the Colts to win on Sunday. I don't think we expected one of the worst games of football. To ever be, you know, seen or heard or whatever. I don't think we expected that Denver San Francisco game to be that bad. And I don't think anybody expected Miami and Philadelphia to be three and out. Miami's defense is on point. Philadelphia's offense is on point. I don't think we expected the Jags to be two and one either. But here we are. That's where we are right now. And a lot of things, you know, are just they're just coming at the right time for everybody. So week four. It's going to be an interesting one. You know, a lot of teams are going to have things to prove as we head into October and really get it going. So, until Thursday evening, I'll see you all Wednesday to talk college football. So, you know, take care. Everybody have a good night and hope you enjoyed all the NFL this week.